Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're essentially going to be parsing through a bunch of output uh, from Limpies. And I'm really just going to show you my methodology in terms of what I look for, how I evaluate information, and I think it's going to be valuable to you. For information, this machine is called uh, Try Hack Me Internal. So if you want to do it, then there you go. Please enjoy the video. So now that we have access, we always want to stabilize the shell. So let us do what we always do. If we do this. One fifty seven columns and twenty seven rows. We export the term like so, and then this is just a preference thing. But now with the export that term, X term, we can do control, <coughs> control L, like so. And with the last command, we get this cool color, right? That just makes it a lot easier to parse output. So yeah, uh, the And we have some, we have some valid credentials right here. So let's see. Let's just make sure that we have this uh, saved, and then let's put it into the prevesc. So, show databases. Uh, show tables. I want to see what's inside of here. So, select everything from WP users. And we have So, so let's say, uh, hash. There's also a very nice uh, tool that I like called uh, gem install Haiti hash that I highly recommend. So we can do it in here. Haiti. So it believes that it's this type of password. So we can do John hash uh, word list equals user share word list rock yeah and then let's see if it auto detected and yeah that it's a password we already have right so we're not interested in that mm. so we can oops user privileges I don't see anything interesting here so I doubt this is the way but I just want to check that first that's the first thing that we typically want to do but uh, yeah so the next thing that I like to do is to go to temp as always 
and then we can w get her IP. And by the way, you can click here for a quick copy paste. It is incredibly convenient. Limpies SH. And then right here. I have Limpies right here. Um, but I can show you how to get it. You probably noticed, but just in case. You pretty much just grab it from the release page right there. And then you copy this link. And then you doubly get it. And now you have Limpies. That is basically all you need. So let us get that and then let's get Leninum for good measure. And then we could just do it like this. So now all of these are executable. So lin.log. So let's execute limpies and uh, let us take a look at all of the output. And then as we go, I will uh, grab it into the. Uh, I will grab the relevant information uh, inside of there. If you really want to as well, you can also create a tool output where you copy paste all of it, but it won't keep the colors, so I prefer to do it uh, like this for now. So let's just go through everything and see what we can find that's relevant. I'm pretty sure that uh, Limpies did the check uh, or find those credentials that we just did in wconfig, but it's still a nice habit to do. Obviously, we had to authenticate to the MySQL service regardless to see if we can find any useful creds, and we did not. But it's a good thing to check first. So none of this is interesting to me. Hmm. This is just uh, AWS stuff, so not really relevant. We have some services running here. Let's say. System D. Hmm. Jet D. The Apache 2 we saw earlier. <laughs> Here's our uh, Rochelle, and then my sequel. Nothing super interesting so far. Here just telling us that there are ways to dump credentials if we have roots, but we don't have it, of course. Uh, I'm not finding too much interesting so far at least, but that's fine. We will note everything that we deem interesting. That's a nice part about doing it as well. You pretty much just have to do it once. You can of course redo when if you're stuck, but... So far I can pretty much ignore everything that I've seen so far, because... I'm not seeing something too, too interesting. Now this is kind of interesting. We can see that we have several interfaces. Um, so yeah, that is definitely, is there more? No, it's just this. I will definitely note this because it's uh, not the most typical necessarily. Mm. Several interfaces. And as you can see, my notes are not pretty, but it doesn't matter. 
the most important part is just to have the information and to parse through. Mm. So yeah, we have some active listening ports here as well. Listening ports. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you've completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.